Hey, it's Aaron the Ho, and today we're gonna to do a full review of the Dog and Bone Backbone Wireless Charging Case for the iPhone 5 and the 5S. Now, this is a really good case for the semi-clumsy as well as people who really hate wires. Now, based on our time with this case, we gave it a score of 4.7 A's out of 5, which is pretty high. It's actually one of the higher scores that we've given for a lot of the cases that we've reviewed. Um, but it comes with two big caveats, and we've kind of given Dog and Bone the benefit of the doubt. Now, I will explain to you um, what I mean in a bit, as well as this was a case given to us by Dog and Bone, so we are going to give it to you guys, one of you lucky viewers. Uh, so do stay tuned to know how to enter in that draw. It's, I'm going to make you do something embarrassing. Real usage. Real reviews. Mobile reviews, a.ca. In order to bring you this review, we actually used this case for actually quite a while. We dropped it to make sure that it's droppable from four feet. We also did a bit of testing in terms of, you know, how quickly things charged and whatnot, um, so that we got a good sense of what this case can actually do. If you want to know the complete breakdown of everything that we rate against, do check out the uh, table review that we have on our website for the backbone. Um, links are in the description section below. So I'm going to take the next few minutes, we're going to step over the high level things about this case. Again, details, website, video, high level stuff. In terms of the design of the case, the uh, it's surprisingly light, yet it does add a bit of bulk, especially at the bottom of the case. It adds about half an inch uh, to your iPhone. The build quality of this case is pretty awesome. There is a good blend of plastic and soft rubber. Uh, the soft rubber really absorbs scuffs really well and when you drop it. In terms of protection, it is rated to be shockproof or protect your phone from a drop of four feet, which we've done. Now, one of the things that we will note is that it will protect your iPhone, but it may not protect the accessory that is um, plugged into the back of the case. Now, in our test, we actually cracked the back of the uh, wireless receiver. And just be aware when you're entering the draw that this isn't a, uh, perfect looking case we'll say but it still works now in terms of functionality getting to your iphone you can get to anything that you want on your iphone the standard apple ear pods work on this case without using the headphone jack extension now in order for it to charge you have to seat it properly but that's pretty easy since there is a guide at the bottom of the case as well as the bottom of the uh, charging base that helps you do that dog and bone also says that it will charge your iphone quicker than if you were to plug it into the wall now in order to get a full charge from your iphone using the backbone it was less than two hours um so we thought hey that's not too bad what what happens if we plug in a uh, two amp power supply into the iPhone? How long does it take? And that took a little over two hours. And we did it a bunch of times. It was actually really frustrating to do that test because you plug it in and you, I, I don't know, I never really pay attention to when my phone um, fully charges. I just plug it in and you know, over time, whenever I come back to it, it's fully charged. So I had to do this test many times to figure out exactly, uh, I guess I could have downloaded an app for it. Now I did mention there were two things that may change the score if I could sound really solidly prove that it is the case, but I can't. Um, the first one was that I could not get the backbone wireless charger to work with your standard iPhone charger. This produces 1.2 amps. Um, from my understanding or what they've told me, it's a five watt charger and you plug this into the backbone case and it will probably charge your phone for about 15, 20 minutes and then it'll stop. I guess there's not enough power or something. Um, when you use an iPad charger, either an iPad or an iPad Air charger, this is a 10 watt charger and that gives you two amps. Um, it, this will definitely charge the backbone in order for me to have constant success with the wireless charging, I had to use the iPad charger. Now, Dog and Bone did assure me that the case should work with an iPhone charger. That's kind of how they've done all their charging. So this oddity with the power supply is that if you don't actually own an iPad, getting in this case, you're gonna to have to buy one of these, which costs more money. This entire case, um, when we received the case, was about $140. That's really expensive. And I don't think the wireless charging as well as the four feet drop protection warrants that sort of price tag. Now, as I was doing this video, they've actually lowered the price a bit. I think it's a, maybe about 110. It's still a very pricey um, case. Now, if you want to add battery pack to it, that's another 50 bucks. All in all, the dog and bone wireless charging case is pretty awesome. Um, if price, if money wasn't a concern, I would definitely get this case. But when you're sitting between 100 and 100 bucks and 150 bucks for a case like this that doesn't provide much more than you know novelty charging i'll say as well as you know lower than average uh, drop protection even though there aren't many cases out there that do both so if this is the first time you're watching one of our videos i do encourage you to click subscribe because we do lots of product reviews as well as news tips and tricks we put out content two to three times a week so there's a lot of stuff for you guys to watch now if you want to win this case um like i said you're gonna to have to work a little bit and in terms of working that means you guys get to howl like a dog 
So upload a video of yourself doing exactly what I just did um, on Facebook, Twitter, as well as Instagram. Any one of those three, use the hashtags Mr. A, so M-R-E-H, and the hashtag Aroo, A-R-O-O. I'll keep the draw open until September 8th. I'll announce the winner on September 9th. So good luck to all you people who aru. But again, you need aru in order to enter the draw to win this case. So thank you for watching.